so the peanut butter I've been using has so much salt in it. So I got some of this fresh ground peanut butter. My cousin Danny was watching my West Virginia video and he asked a very good question that has a good answer, but maybe not a great answer. He said, you kept talking about how hot you were and you were wearing a black t-shirt. Not only black, but it's made of wool. <laughs> See, the thing is I have three t-shirts. One is tan, one is black, and one is, I don't know, gray. I could have worn the gray, but I don't want to get this all dirty. It's pretty prone to getting dirt anyway. And I don't want to wear the tan because then I'd be covered head to toe in tan and then everybody would call me Tan Man. And I have these Star Wars t-shirts, but they don't fit well. Uh, this Fox McCloud t-shirt is just terrible quality. And I have these cutoff shirts that I normally wear, but this offers plenty of room for mosquitoes to just go to town. And then I have three long sleeve shirts, which would all be really hot. So I need to rectify that situation. And I did rectify the sleeping bag situation. Got one of these summer bags and it was great. But I need to go get a long sleeve shirt that's really light, and that I can also roll up the arms without too much trouble. I don't want to go to a store, but I'm gonna go to the store. Have I shown you guys my JoJo mask? My friend got this for me. I almost nightly have dreams that I'm somewhere in public and I forgot a mask. And last night I had a dream that I was in public at Burger King. I didn't have a mask and nobody else did either. Okay, I got two options. Gray zip up kind of deal and a blue other kind of deal. I'm gonna take a quick shower and try these out. All right, let's give them a shot. First up the blue. Mm, this is probably already perfect, but let's try out the other one. Also perfect. Okay. Okay, okay, so I was getting stuff for my upcoming trip and I was looking at stuff I could order and they had ice cream sandwiches. I was like, what? Well, that's kind of what I'm feeling like. Yeah. Is it I, dehydrated? I, yeah, I'm gonna try to not eat it before the trip though. Well, so I got three bean chili, granola, scrambled eggs, Kathmandu, <laughs> and Ukrainian borscht. I don't know what that Do is. Do you even know what that is? No. That's fermented beets. Well, I hope fermented it, beets juice. I hope it tastes good. <laughs> I tried it once. Now this this like potatoes, cabbage, onion, carrots, beets, kidneys. Oh, I'm seeing a kvass. Okay, because I thought I, I was like I'm pretty sure I looked at the ingredients. <laughs> Sorry, I'm seeing a kvass. <laughs> okay, well, Have fun. I will. Actually, you know what? This is probably the only one that's actually enough for a full meal. I'm gonna have to bring some supplemental food, but this should probably be enough. Guess we'll see. Always got the Coradillas! Man, it's been a little while since I've done any manual cleaning. It can be therapeutic and fun, but it's usually just a pain in that. So I don't really recommend it unless you really want to take good care of your stuff. I don't care about the hiking shirt. I just wanted to wash this shirt, but since I needed to wash the hiking shirt too, you see how I'm scum. Goodness. 
So as a little follow up to yesterday's conversation about the future of computing. So I've got my desktop computer hooked up to this keyboard, hooked up to this monitor. This is where I do all of my real work. When I need to get stuff done, when I need to have multiple tabs open, I'm just lightning quick, clicking and dragging and 144 hertz and it's beautiful, it's so fast, it's great. Obvious downsides, zero portability, it gets really hot and draws a lot of power. Over there, I have an entire computer in this little box right here. I use that strictly for making music. It's hooked up to this monitor and this keyboard. The experience is close, to that computer, it's just not as powerful and I don't feel as efficient and fast in the OS X workspace. Not because I'm not familiar with it, I'm very familiar with it, I've been using it for like 12 years. But OS X has so many animations and like, when you hit full screen it like takes forever to go out, and then you hit minimize, like you can't snap windows to the side, like you can snap windows. I could do a whole video essay on that. Anyways, that brings me to over here. This is my laptop, this is also OS X. I hardly use this thing anymore because it's so heavy and the battery is so bad that the portability is almost not there and the usability is not as good as my desktop computer. So there's just not that many use cases for it. I wanted it to be like my do anything computer moving around the house, going somewhere and then editing on the go, but it just doesn't quite fulfill that need mainly because the battery's not good enough and it's too heavy. Which brings me to this. This is a regular iPad with a keyboard attached and a trackpad. This is probably my favorite computing experience right now. A, it has the portability, shablam. B, it has all the functionality and speed of most computers because it has a trackpad and a keyboard. But not only that, it's even further enhanced because you can click on things with your finger. It is amazing how intuitive and fast it is to switch back and forth from typing, trackpad, and touch. I was telling my brother about it and for some reason he just poo-pooed it immediately. And I was like, dude, I'm not trying to convince you of anything, but you should try this. This is great. Like you can type and then you can do this. It's like, you don't even have to move the mouse. Oh, it's like, oh, come on. It's so intuitive. As far as interfaces go, this actually feels very much like the future of computing. <laughs> Actually, not just as far as interfaces go, as far as form factor goes, this feels very much like where computers need to go. The advantage this has over a laptop is that you can still remove it from the keyboard and use it as a reader device. I want maximum flexibility. I want everything. I want portability, I want low power draw, I want power, I want touchscreen, I want keyboard, I want trackpad, I want mouse. I want complete software, I want the app store, and then I also wanna be able to put anything I want on there. If computers can get to that point, oh man. And then even, you could hook this up to a monitor. You put it over there and then you plug it in and then boom, you got the mon Yeah. Anyways, long story short, I have different devices for different needs, but right now, an iPad with a keyboard, that is my favorite computing experience. It can't do everything I need it to do, especially when it comes to work stuff, but, it's getting there, and I think it will get there, but it's gonna be a little bit. Maybe not even that long. So this shirt is polyester, and I've had a polyester hiking shirt before, and it was totally fine, but I kinda wanna make sure that this is actually cool enough for hiking, and it's not gonna be just as bad as my wool shirt. It can't be as bad as the wool shirt, especially Jet Black, the guy from Cowboy Bebop. Well. Seems okay right now, but then again, it is kind of wet, so this is probably not a very good test. Although, that does mean I could just wet it while I'm on the trail, and it would dry quickly. I don't know, I think this would be good. It's durable, it was cheap, relatively. We'll give it a shot. Okay, thank you very much for watching. That's gonna do it for today's vlog. Hope you have a good one. See you next time. You can do whatever you want to do. No, I want to see what that ice cream sandwich thing is. <laughs>